Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell, this is going to be a Halloween makeup look. The first of hopefully a few for the rest of October. And I decided to use all green beauty products to create this look. Now, there are a lot of amazing Halloween looks out there using special effects and prosthetics and things like that, which I absolutely love and I love to watch those things and do those things. But I know also people, not everyone can do that or wants to do that and they like that simple, easy Halloween looks to do and preferably using makeup they already have. And I was due to a collab with the lovely um, Karina from Beauty With Meaning here on YouTube and she has an Instagram account, I'll leave it all linked down below. And it was going to be a Halloween collab where I did, she is a green beauty blogger and uh, vlogger and she, she was going to do a wearable Halloween look, so kind of more makeup based and things like that using green beauty products. And I was going to do a um, more of a less wearable Halloween look, aka like a, or as I'm going to do this video, like a skull. But we switched things up and we're going to do, we're still going to collab, but we're going to do something different at the end of this year. And um, it's actually with another Green Beauty blogger, which is going to be fun. Um, so stay tuned for the end of the year for that one. But when we're kind of half planning out this collab, it made me think, is there actually any Green Beauty kind of Halloween makeup looks out there? And I kind of typed in Green Beauty Halloween looks into YouTube and Instagram and none popped up that I could find. If I'm wrong, please leave stuff linked down below, but I thought it might be quite fun. I haven't actually done any of the looks yet. This is the first one, so I don't know if it's actually possible, but I know a lot, you can do makeup or Halloween makeup looks using your own makeup, so I thought, let's have some fun and do it with all Green Beauty products. So that's what I'm doing in today's video, and as I said, I am doing a skull, or well, half a face of a skull, half face glam. I want to start off relatively simple and easy to do, and something quite fun as well. So the kind of makeup looks aren't necessarily going to be original looks, they're going to be kind of things you see, but my own, things you see a lot, but my own twist, and obviously using all Green Beauty products. So if you're interested, then please keep on watching. So first of all, I'm just going to start off with my base. So taking the 100 Pure Luminous Primer and mixing it with my Hint Beauty um, foundation. I went quite heavy with the concealer in this. Um, sorry, I think I said Hint Beauty foundation. I meant concealer. I went quite heavy just to really give my face good coverage. And then just using the Hint Beauty concealer as actual concealer as well. Um, I'm not going to set anything yet because um, I want to keep one side. I'm doing special effects or the Halloween look quite... Um, tacky in order to have the mineral eyeshadow stick. So I'm taking the Pacifica, um, this is one of the eye pencils just in like a grey metallic shade. I'm just using this to map out where I want things to go. Um, and the fact that I haven't set the base means that if something goes wrong like it did at the beginning I can just quickly go um, with my foundation brush and just erase it and start again kind of thing. So just you kind of map out however you want the skull to look, you just map out how you want. So doing I'm using obviously doing the eye, part of the nose, the mouth and I'm drawing out the teeth a little bit. I have to apologise in the later clips when I'm actually doing the teeth portion as in filling them in and colouring in. You can't see it at all, I'm kind of like this right now, completely hidden so I apologise in advance for that one. Now for the other side, I did do the glam side off camera because you can kind of do whatever look you want to. I did quite neutral tones in the glam look only because I didn't want um, it to kind of upstage the skull look section. And the reason I paused then is because I'm using um, a reference picture just to map out what kind of skull I want to, what kind of look I want to go for in terms of the skull shape and stuff. So I'm starting off with the Lily Lolo Mineral Eyeshadow in Green Opal to fill in the top half. Actually, I fill in the whole skull, minus the bits I want to fill in black. Um, for this look. As you can see, bits of it do go in my hair but it just makes it quite glittery and it's quite fun, uh, fun and things like that. Um, so yeah, that's why I'm not, I didn't want to set the base, it's because I wanted it to just be tacky like I do with my eyes with the eye primer just so the mineral eyeshadow really clings to it. So then I'm going to the PHB palette and taking this green shade instead, which is like a more of a turquoise or more of a teal green I'd say. I'm using it on the next portion down, so I kind of want to kind of create an ombre effect with the colours. So I'm just doing the kind of lower two thirds of my face with this colour going over that green. And I will go back and forth with each colour just to really intensify the colour. And I make sure I fill in my ear as well. So yeah, as you can see I've got my other half of my face done, just kind of a neutral 
glam look. I used the 100% Pure Naked 2 palette on the eyes just in case you're interested. Um, and then I'm taking the purple shade from that palette just to fill in the bottom section. So it goes from kind of greeny to blue to purple which I think is really cool and like you can use any colours you want as well. So this is just the colours I have in my collection that I thought would be quite fun to use. Then I'm going to take the Lily Lolo Minute Eyeshadow in Witchy Poo and this is going to fill in all the black areas. I'm just using a big crease brush for this. I think I use this one for the other colours as well. Something quite thick. So this is a Real Techniques crease eyeshadow brush. Or you can use like a kind of dense concealer brush. Anything that's going to pick up a quite a lot of product and really buff well into the skin. So like I said, I'm using this to fill in any of the black areas that I want filling in. I'm just using a small, this is a tapered brush from Lily Lolo and you're still using the same black eyeshadow, I'm just going in with kind of some of the smaller details now so kind of the forehead section, I'm going in first with that brush just to line it out and then I use the concealer brush, or not the concealer brush, sorry, the crease brush again just to buff it out to create the shadow effect and things like that So it's all about going back and forth with the colours to kind of build up the intensity and then going with shading and stuff like that. It's just shading that really makes the kind of this thing come to life and look more 3D as well. So I'm using that brush again just to kind of go around the outside and I'm also using it to shade in any other areas as well. Then I'm going with the shade Orchid and see this is a bit where you can't see so I put down eye primer first, my little eye primer and then I went in with this shade just to fill in the teeth. All I did was just fill the entire thing in white and then I used um, like this liquid liner from Hunsent Pure to do the outlines of the teeth but like I said I completely did not, was not in a frame for using that. So I actually used it to outline the eye, I really didn't like how it turned out so which is why I switched to a small pencil brush and that witchy poo eyeshadow again just to go along the outlines of things just because I actually quite like the more softer approach and like I said I really didn't like how my eye portion turned out I tried to hide it a little bit but you could still see it so I would recommend um, going with eyeshadow I think it actually looks softer and kind of ties in with the look so I'm just going back and forth with some sections just to kind of really add some shading and things in there And this is me filling in. Okay, so that is this look complete and I'm actually so happy with how this has turned out. I think it looks really cool. I think I could have done better job with the teeth and in previous kind of skull looks I've definitely done better teeth work. But I love how, like I said, it looks. I think the mineral eyeshadows work really well. And I love that ombre effect that I've created here. And it gives that, obviously the minerals have a bit of sheen to them, so it gives that shiny effect. Almost kind of like, it's kind of a bit snake-like with the green and stuff like that. It's very, kind of, it gives a bit of iridescence to the skin. And I think it looks really cool. And it is relatively simple to do. It's all about just the kind of the effective bits is adding the shading in and that's what kind of makes it kind of come to life in a way um, but uh, yeah I really am happy with how this turned out I really one thing also I kind of wish I hadn't done is add the liquid line around the outside because you can kind of see it. I should have stuck with eyeshadow and, um, but yeah I really like how this look has turned out you could if you didn't want to go colour you could just go white and if I was going to do like a a regular skull, I would have just used Orchid, like I've done the eyeshadows, all over the skin and then did the shading. But yeah, you can kind of mix it up, you can do one colour, multiple colours, you can have patterns, but I wanted to do something fun and colourful and um, yeah, I'm really happy with how it's turned out. You can obviously customise where you want the half effect to come in, you can kind of just do the eye portion, it's really up to you, you can kind of really customise it to yourself. And um, yeah, I think this look turned out really well. I'm really pleased with it. Um, so like I said, I'm planning on doing more Halloween looks, kind of dotted about to the end of October, all using Green Beauty makeup. Um, also, we'll have just regular videos in there as well, because I know not everyone's a fan of Halloween, but I do love Halloween, and I think it's a lot of fun. 
and I like I said I really like the look that I've done here and I love how the kind of colours mesh together. Um, so yeah, so I really hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Leave any requests down below and I'll see you in my next video.